I'm Entrism and welcome to Stellaris where we have a relic world to look at today. That is a loud relic world. Hello, relic world. Uh, so, we want to try and take the system and then start doing some excavations because there's apparently some really cool stuff here. Right. Carry on. Right, you are overcrowded. You are working on a hive district. That is all good. It takes some time to do the hive district, sadly. And there is our new tradition. Now, we need to consider what our next tradition is going to be. Obviously, domination is pretty great, uh, but it's more about opposing our will on others. So, not so much focused on the killing and eating them, which is the downside. Uh, governor level cap increased by two. That literally will make our cap at, like, what, 13 or something? No, it might be 11. Because we've got plus two from transcendent learning. Plus one, plus one, so we're on nine right now, I think. That makes 11 on that, which will be pretty crazy. Uh, so let me know, also increased housing. Ruler level capacity increased by two. Again, pretty great. Crime, doesn't matter. We know drone output, okay. Clear blocker reduction, that's nice. Extra influence. Okay, that's pretty fine. Prosperity. Upkeep reduction. Complex drone output. Monthly energy credits. Yes, that's all good. Buildings in the districts have build. Cost reduced by 10%. Build speed increased. Okay. Hive districts provide additional housing. That's also pretty great. Leader lifespan, 20 years. That's great. Ship build speed and the fire rate is increased within our borders. Also pretty great. Leader upkeep reduced. Pretty great. Okay, synchronicity I can maybe get behind. It does reduce our population mineral consumption as well, which is good. Stability doesn't matter. Literally, the capstone for that doesn't have an effect. Hmm. Scientist level cap increase is very tasty. Leader level cap increase, that's pretty damn tasty as well. That means all of our leaders can go up to N10, which is double the rank of a normal leader. Discovery is pretty damn tempting. Research speed 10%. In addition, we unlock a research perk slot. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, and normally research speed increased by 20%. Tempting. Pop grow speed is pretty nice. But administrative cap doesn't do anything for us. I think we ignore expansion, which is strange. Normally we go for that. Um, adaptability, I don't think we go for. Because we're pretty habitable already. The resettlement reduction is nice. But meh, most of that's pretty boring. I think... Ooh. Synchronicity isn't quite good enough. Adopting it for the 10% reduction might be worthwhile. Straight up, just, just getting the adoption. 10% reduction to mineral upkeep. Yeah, right now that would literally give us like over 10 minerals per month, which is really fantastic. Domination, governor and ruler. I'm not going to rate that as highly. I think we're probably going to go prosperity or discovery. And because discovery will have a bigger impact right now, we're going to go discovery. We're going to be a bit more scientific about it. Ooh. Odd metal composition, the crash out of a dozen massive spaceships, larger than anything we could have ever imagined. Interesting. Was that down here? Wait, where is that? Oh, it's here. Alright, okay. I was getting confused there for a second. You're building a starbase. You should continue to move up here, building star bases. Oh, you can't do anything here. I might as well move here for now. 
Actually, survey that system, because we're going to want to build our way up this way. Construction complete. Good job. We'll do the mining. And that is a colony in the wrong sector. So we're going to need to mess around with this. Okay. Uh, uh, expansion planner. Oh, interesting. Hi. I don't want you. Uh, what do we want? I forget where they put the changes that when they uh, changed it so that the sector stuff is in a different place but it used to be. Okay, well, that took a while to find out. It looks like they've completely changed sectors this summer. Again, this is what, the second complete overhaul of sectors in a game that's, what, two years old? It's a bit intense, but okay, fine. I don't know why they've changed it yet again, but for now, we're not even going to bother putting you in a sector. Do we even have, like, uh, info on sector governor? What do you give? All right, your upkeep's in increased because of Empire Sprawl. Sure. Beyond that? What are you doing right now for this? Nothing? I can't tell what your bonuses are. Your skill level of three, what is that doing? I can tell your traits, but... No idea. Fine. Anomaly found. Clothal impact. Research it. Also, powered exoskeleton now. Uh, ooh, afterburners is probably the one I want to go for here. Yeah, allows to use some of the extra power we've generated. Fortuitous event. Okay, Astro Collision, lovely. Accretion complete. Accretion complete. There's so much to do in this system. Right. You've got plenty of spare housing. So do you for now. Uh, we're going to start on the generators early, though. Because we need them. I've got the tower blocker. Uh, more tower blockers or just reason? At this point, I think we'll just ignore that because that's ocean. That's uh, like a jungle. Uh, so we'll go biodiversity and just grab that. Not great options there for us. I've got loads of alloy. Not having access to the galactic market is certainly a kind of a downer. I think what we'll do is we'll start to round out our empire. Are there any fun things we can do here? Decisions? Uh, no, not really. System geology charted. Mm, turn energy credits and food into unity. Well, minerals for us. In society research. Uh, how much unit are we making at the moment? Maybe we could go for that. Get ourselves a bit of unity going on. Sure. We're going to have to start specializing our planets in the not too distant future, but for now we'll just go for it. All right, that's been scanned, which means we can start it up. Geology charted. Construction complete. Still haven't encountered a 
hostile race. I mean, they're going to be hostile to us because we're hostile to them, which is a little bit surprising. Uh, I think what we'll also do is increase the size of our fleet yet again. Attrition complete. Right. Grab the energy there. Oh, hello. Anomaly found. The ancient structure. Okay. Well, we lost a scientist there. Attrition complete. We have moats of dust, a leviathan. You know, the, the ancient fortress is great. There's some really good tech you can get out of that. I've got blue laser. Uh, I think we'll grab the beam. It's a shame we lost a ship to it, but totally worthwhile. Uh, science ship. I wish I could hire a scientist here. I don't know why you can't. Leader, recruit a scientist, and spark of genius plus ten percent is pretty great. We'll grab you, and I'm thinking, what we will probably want to do is, uh, if you can find the research, you. You're only maniacal, uh, so you only get a 5%, so we'll change you. Uh, sorry, we'll change you, not the research project. For you. And then over here. Why do we not have... Does it have to be in a science vessel? Might need to be in a science vessel. Okay. Either way, that's a pretty nice system. Attrition complete. Perfect. Eleven Corvettes is pr looking pretty sexy. mining stations. There you go. Oof. That's a lot of negative energy credits. That's a lot of negative energy credits. That's a worrying amount of negative energy credits. There's so much negative energy... Oh, we're gonna be bankrupt. Um... Oh, God. I mean, maybe we should just go spawning pool. Increase our population, but that costs two energy. I, we're going to have to go for this. Even though it's not a generator world. Wow, that's so negative. Okay. And we just formed a new colony. Great. Hi there. Yes, I'm aware our energy credits are terrible. We're going to bottom out. Okay. Survey... Survey, survey. Construction complete. 
You still got jobs available? Uh Fire Reactor doesn't really do anything. Yeah, I think we'll just go for another generator district. Yeah. Okay. Only minus four now. It's a bit better. More archaeology. We're finding a lot of archaeology now. Battle logistics. Starting experience. Okay, pretty good. Naval just office plus two naval capacity. Also nice. Uh, but we could also do fleet doctrine. I think we'll go fleet doctrine just because it's a flat cap buff for now. Okay, once we're done with that one, we'll probably interfere. Uh, alien barracks. Okay. Military theory trait. Lovely. Right, there we go. Instead of finishing that off, build a starbase here. And there's the null void beam. Neat. Um, energy grid, capacitor overload. I kind of think we have to do this. We need energy. And also, we can play around with our fleet now. Fleet manager. Ship design. Completely change you. You're not a missile boat anymore. You are now an interceptor. Sorry. There is a void beam for you. And then a couple of blue lasers. Got a better engine. Three deflectors. Yes, and we will do that. And upgrading you will cost 150 alloy, which we totally have. Went to be a very fighty race, and we've got no one to fight against yet. This is kind of weird. Okay, you're going to be all about energy. Hello, tradition. Yeah, I want to go this way for the leader experience caps and stuff. Unusual energy reading. Ooh. Attrition complete. Construction right. complete. And then make our way up here. Ships upgraded. Yeah, pretty good where you are. Is there anything I want you to construct? Oh, yeah, totally. Energy here. Dirt. And then energy over here as well. Glancing hit from projectile that was going super fast. Anomaly found. Strange gas stuff. Cool. Now the question is... 
can we expand up to here? And the answer is, of course, yes we can. So let us build ourselves a colony ship. Remarkable, this is a barren planet. Hello, not actually a gas giant. Hmm. Not particularly helpful, but... Hmm. Right. System geology charted. Everything's pretty calm right now. This is like me wondering if this is the calm before the storm. Just a little bit worried about that. But we've expanded probably a third more than I normally expect to expand before I find someone, and we still haven't found anyone. Hello. Our continued excavations on... have unearthed a minor cache of antiques. Okay. We get an artifact. Oh, we have got a scientist there. Not high difficulty, okay. Right, so you're doing the excavating archaeological site. Right, okay. When did I send you to do that? Must have not been paying attention. Uh, I kind of want you to do that at the same time I want someone to explore. I guess we could just hire another scientist. Like, we'll have a lot of scientists. I didn't think we were going a tech route with this run. But it looks like we are. Sod it. Why not? Um. What am I looking for? Shipyard. Another science ship. It's probably because of our really aggressive expansion. That's why we want the extra ships, right? And that's another science ship. Oh, normally research speed plus the okay. Oh, we don't have enough energy. Yeah. Gonna have to wait a little bit for that. We are gaining, so. It'll take us another three months. Oh, hello. There's your palace. The present dark and lifeless interior of the space station almost succeeds in hiding the fact that it must be designed as some kind of luxurious pleasure palace. Dead, partially modified aliens of at least a dozen different species can be found everywhere. Curious. Okay, keep it up. We've got ourselves afterburners. Uh, ooh. Mineral purification. You know what? Yes. More minerals is great. Now, that and the energy one we're working on both help with specialization, really. So we've got to make sure that we start specializing. Uh, great. We will recruit. <coughs> you with the anomaly help. Oh, you cost more. Because of Empire Sprawl. Okay. Nah, 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 nah. You shouldn't play a wide empire. We'll put negatives in if you try and play a wide empire. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, Stellaris. Construction complete. That's not worth grabbing. It's too science. It'll cost us an energy. Um... Yeah, I don't know what I'm actually going to do with you. Probably just start claiming a few things. I want to claim this, but we haven't actually looked at it yet. 
We should make our empire a little bit more connected, admittedly. Right, now we can use you. Uh, and we will send you to here. Oh, that's only difficulty one. Neat. Derek Station was once known as the Star Petal. It was apparently a celebrated luxury resort in the corner of the galaxy nearly a thousand years ago. A small fleet of tugs would drag the station to a new exotic location each year. For an unclear reason, the station was pulled in the gas jet's atmosphere where it suffered critical damage. Okay. Good work. And we're going to increase our fleet again. I don't keep doing this like, hey, there'll be enemies at some point. There will System be. Survey I'm complete. almost certain of it. Probably. Construction complete. Right, so far so good. Construction complete. Yeah, this is build colony ship. It should be, it should actually say, like, colony ships in flight, and then be able to pick colony ship. I don't know why it doesn't. This is like two years on. These are things I think would be obvious to me. I don't know if they're just not, but to me, they seem like obvious things. Right. Mineral that, then move there. Energy's starting to feel a little bit better now. And... We've got sufficient clues and evidence to paint a reasonable clear picture of the station's final days. A straight asteroid impact at the station, knocking it into an orbit that would soon plunge it into the atmosphere. The station keeping thrusters could not compensate. And the command staff soon issued an evacuation order. Unfortunately, the station only had enough escape pods to evacuate a fraction of the passengers, and mass panic erupted. Those that were not trapped to death perished when the station's environmental system failed as it drifted deeper into the gas cloud. Oh. Basically, the Titanic. Gotcha. Anomaly found. Oh, hello. What was that? Challenging, but will take just less than half a year. You know what? You know what? Leave it be for now, actually. We'll come back to it. There's no need to try and rush these uh, when we can just leave them for a bit. Let you get a bit more experience. It's level three, you're level one. Strategic resource, zero. Okay. Where did we find the throw? Oh, here. Okay. That's what you use for, like, psychic races and stuff, right? We can't be psychic because we're a hive mind. Which I always find a bit weird. Like, why can't hive minds be psychic? I guess maybe, like, the mechanics is, like, they're all about unity and stuff and, like, we're unified because we're hive mind. Kind of makes sense. Kind of. Uh, what's up? Edicts. We could get learning campaign, leader experience. I'm gonna grab Map the Stars because that's actually influence. And I think we will grab learning campaign. We have so much in the way of minerals, so. System geology charted. 
And there's enough unity to grab leader experience level cap increase and leader experience gain increase. Thank you very much. System survey complete. Okay, you're done your surveying over there, which is excellent. I think what we'll probably want to do is I guess we could go this way. Because if we want to take that fortress, we want to make sure no one else gets there first. So covering this area is a good idea. There's actually a bottleneck here if we can get to that. Oh, we could send you to do some artifact hunting. Ooh. Rummaging through the secure safe where the Star Petal's wealthiest clientele store their personal be uh, belongings has revealed a treasure trove of strange artifacts and jewelry. Perhaps the most noteworthy among the items was the Heart of the Pulsar, a unique diamond necklace worth fam uh, quite famous since Dave having been worn by five different heads of state. And we get 4,000 energy credits? A uh, hell yes! We needed that! Good job there! You know what? You should do more of those. There's one up here we want to do? It's like a difficulty one, so... Knock stuff out. Was that... I thought we had another one. Oh yeah, here we go. We've got another one over here, which is difficulty four. That was a pretty good win. Energy grid. Yes, thank you. Technicians is pretty good. Improved Deflectors is also pretty good. Um, oh, the choice is... I'm pretty stuck on this one. We have a lot of energy credits, so I'm going to hold out on field modulation. We're going to go improve Deflectors. We are a military race, even if we haven't found anyone yet to fight. It's probably a good thing that we prepare ourselves. Uh, and then ship design. Afterburner. There we go. We're not going to upgrade everyone just yet. Establishing Lithosphere. There we go. Build star base in all of those systems. I think that should reduce that Empire Sprawl, because Empire Sprawl, if I remember correctly, is based off of the number of connections that your planets have to unconnected planets that don't belong to you. Um, we've discovered volatile moats. Interesting. Naval capacity increase, uh, population growth speed, lead lifespan, military academy, one of these two. I'm gonna go with population growth speed. We don't need lead lifespan just yet. We're well within our age limits. I'm not upgrading you just yet because I don't really mind. The issue is going to be when we expand the fleet. When we expand the fleet, we're going to need to upgrade because then part of the fleet's going to be slower because they don't have afterburners and it'll hold the entire fleet up to kind of defeat the point of the afterburners. Anomaly found. Uh, research that. Nice and easy research. Drone campaign edicts failed, so we'll put it back on again because we have the minerals. And, oh, hello. Overcrowded and not enough jobs. Well, take a hive district. And then I guess we'll take an energy district. System Geology Chuck. Sailor, a primitive design. And we're going to straight up just give you a energy grid as well, because we know exactly where you're going. Uh, you'll also need a hive district, because you're down to two spare housing. Three available jobs. Yeah, you have plenty of jobs available. Oof, there we go. Took our minerals all the way down there. 
Anomaly found. Uh, you know what? We will research that. It's a tier six, and you're tier what four? Yeah. But it's outside our empire, and there could quite conceivably be an empire up here. I don't want to really suffer through that. Do we just like not turn people on? Do I need to go check episode one and be like, hey, did I actually turn enemy empires on? I'm actually a bit worried. Maybe I didn't. And then we will want to increase the size of this fleet. And I won't build them yet, but I'm going to have them ready. Strange. Because then we can just do a reinforce and an upgrade action. So strange. Anyway, carry on. Carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when we have numbed. Eaten everything we can. Cause I want some food. Mm. I ate all the things that were around me. Just because I wanted... Some family? I don't know. Either way. I guess it makes sense. You need to eat to procreate as a rock. How else are you going to procreate as a rock, eh? Actually, I don't even want to think about that. That's a bit... Esoteric. That's, uh, that's a kink, put it that way. Ups and downs. Ooh. Asteroid belt. Sudden gravitational shifts. The culprit is a gravity generator of old alien make. A disturbing thought. Trouble over buildings, cracked spaceships, lumps of melted junk and trinkets burned to crisp indicate that the former inhabitants fled their homes in the midst of looting battle against a superior force. The presence of bodies bearing foreign military insignia suggests it may have been infighting between clans of rat natives to different homeworlds. Their evacuation efforts impeded by their unwillingness to abandon their treasure trinkets and were lost. One artifact, however, seems to have held a special place in the society. The Rubricator appears as if they thought and long hard and save it, and ultimately they had to leave it behind. Okay, let's find out more about this Rubricator. Complete. I want to know where the Rubricator is. Rubricating and other such likenesses. I want to know what it thinks about. Is it feet? Yeah, okay, I had a bit of trouble coming with the last bit of that, but whatever. Uh, you're still doing jobs, okay, there is some energy up there that we could go for. Again, we've got crazy amounts of energy right now. I don't want to go into negative energy, I'd rather keep us at, you know, a decent level here, and then we've got a negative if we desperately need to, like, build a massive force or something. Um, there is an order of the rats is chaos in... Ratses? There is an order to the Ratses' chaos. There is an order to the Rats' chaos. In a somewhat... Give it to us, Rats is precious. In a somewhat official-looking building towards the center of town, there is a digital inventory of every single item to complete with their origin. Gross misinterpretation of the intended use, as well as some highly unhelpful notes as to where to find them. The Rubricator, described as a thingamajig maker with magical power, has its place in the right of the Empress's lilac ribbon under her snout swabs on the four-legged box with a funny face. Whatever that is. Okay. Getting a lot of minor artifacts here. Like a lot. I haven't really played with the artifacts much. This is going to be interesting. Uh, construction ship's already coming down here. I think what we'll do is we'll have you build stuff there. System survey complete. Okay. A lot of busy systems around us. Attrition complete. Mineral purification. 
Iron thrusters, destroyers, gas well, city housing. These are all really good. Uh, iron thrusters or destroyers. That's a tough choice. I think we'll go destroyers. And that's probably a good place to leave it for today. Still haven't discovered anyone. This is really kind of weird. I don't think there's another way to describe it. It's just weird. I've had it a few times before, but when you're playing a race who you're afraid of when you'll encounter anyone, because you know that as soon as you encounter them, they'll want to kill you. And if you encounter them too late and they've all, you know, met other people and teamed up and you encounter several people at once, they're all going to want to team up and kill you instantly. As I wanted to kind of find someone early and kill them quickly. But apparently that's not going to be. So for now, I've been in Terilisium. We'll find out what happens next time in the next episode. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, you know the drill by now. Also, let me know down below what you're thinking of Stellaris in the series. And sure, give me feedback on some of the changes I've mentioned. Because, you know, you probably are a little bit more familiar than me. I have played this in a couple of months and they seem to have changed sectors drastically. So, till next time, stay shiny.